is happening guys my name is Jamie and today we are doing something a little bit different that's right guys today I'm gonna reveal to you guys how I got into metal and what music I checked out before I check before I really got into metal and what actually introduced me to metal I've got nine spots here basically I'm gonna tell you my evolution through music. So let's get on with it. First of all, shout out to my lovely patrons on Patreon. This is gonna be a fun video. I'm excited, I'm gonna check this out. This is my gate, my gateway, my journey to metal. Let's go. Okay, so the first artist I uh, was really into was none other than the king himself. It was Elvis Presley. I loved Elvis, I really did. And I still love Elvis right now. Elvis Presley was definitely one of the first artists that I checked out. He was the king of rock and roll. Amazing songs like Suspicious Minds, Hound Dog, uh, Love Me, all these amazing songs. He was definitely one of my idols as well. I still love him. I love listening to his music. I used to listen to a hell of a lot of his albums. And this was before I, before I even touched metal. So this was about 13, 14 years ago, uh, before I even knew that metal existed. Um, I was really deep into Elvis. What really wanted me to invest in some more heavier stuff than Elvis was a band called Kiss. I discovered Kiss through my mum. My mum was a huge Kiss fan. And it's a big leap from Elvis to Kiss, but yeah, she showed me Kiss. And I absolutely loved the band. I, I, I was so fascinated in how they looked, how they looked with makeup and everything. Paul Stanley with makeup, Gene Simmons with makeup. At first I thought it was face paint, but it wasn't. But I was just so curious on how they looked and how Gene Simmons was spitting out all that blood. Like I thought they were so demonic and I absolutely loved them. Back then I thought they were just the devil themselves. And from then, I started to listen to the music and said, Oh, wow, this is slightly heavier than Elvis, but it's some still good shit. So yeah, Kiss was definitely probably one of my second gateways to metal, I would say, along with Elvis. Which is crazy because Elvis was basically started my love for music because I absolutely love Elvis. I love his vo vocals. And then I moved on to Kiss because my mum got me into Kiss. I saw Kiss about two times, one in Melbourne at the Melbourne Symphony uh, Orchestra, and that was an amazing night, and also at the Grand Prix back in 2008, close to 11 years ago. So I absolutely love Kiss. Been a big fan of Kiss for a while now. I'm gonna say they are definitely one of my favorite bands, Kiss. So after I listened to Kiss, and I was still listening to Elvis, I wanted to check out another band, and it was none other than ACDC. Love ACDC, Bon Scott, an amazing amazing singer, Brian Johnson, fantastic as well, Angus, an amazing guitarist, just fantastic, yeah, Long Way to the Top, TNT, uh, Jailbreak, amazing songs, and yeah, I, from then I listened to their discography. Back then, there were no streaming services, um, I didn't have access to internet, so just had CDs. My mum had all the Kiss albums, and my stepdad had all all the ACDC albums and from then I just listened to KISS and ACDC along with Alvis on my little, uh, not, a, not a phone or anything but on a CD player and um, from then it was just Alvis, KISS and ACDC never have heard of Slayer, never had heard of Metallica um, it was just those three artists Alvis, KISS and ACDC and uh, from then, what got me into another band was none other than Led Zeppelin. And the first album I picked up was the third album, Three. Amazing songs like Immigrant Song. I listened to this album. I did. I listened to the album and I absolutely fell in love with it. I did. And I said, wow, this is very different to Alvis. This is very different to Kiss. This is very different to ACDC. This is Led Zeppelin. I really like this band. So from then, I brought all the albums. I brought all the albums at JB Hi-Fi and I just listened to them. I just listened to them. I think I missed a few, but I really enjoyed Led Zeppelin. Since I've been loving you, Immigrant Song, Physical Graffiti, that was the next album I got. And it was such an enjoyable, 
enjoyable ex listening experience. And then I was heavily into music and I wanted to explore some more music. And from then we were heading towards the metalish side. Probably the next um, artist I checked out was uh, none other than Black Sabbath. Yeah, it was definitely volume four because I remember my stepbrother gave me this album and said, hey, listen to this. You know, I know you like this music, but listen to this and listen to Black Sabbath. So I, we, I checked it out. I think we all checked it out. And I loved it. I really did love the droney guitars, the amazing vocals as well. Absolutely incredible, incredible album. Songs like Changes, Snowbind, absolutely fantastic, fantastic album. And from then, yeah, listened to most of the most of the albums. Really enjoyed their sound and everything. And um, it was really on the heavier side. Like it's something I definitely had never heard of before. It was heavy. It was gritty as well. Overweight, crushing your shoulders. But I absolutely loved it. So Black Sabbath led to none other than the Corn, and my first ever Corn album I checked was none other than Follow the Leader. So it's a big jump from Black Sabbath to Corn, but it was a necessary jump, necessary jump because I checked out this album and I absolutely fell in love with it. So I remember my mate telling me at school, and this was back in high school or high school, primary school. I might have been primary school. And my mate said, hey, have you heard this? My mate said, hey, have you heard this band Corn? They are absolutely awesome. Um, I really enjoy them. Maybe you'd like them. So he gave me this album, Follow the Leader. And holy shit, I loved it. I absolutely loved this album. It was amazing. Songs like Cameltosis, Got the Life, Reclaim My Place, Freak on a Leash. I mean, all these amazing songs on this album and I absolutely loved it. Yeah, so this was my first ever Corn album I checked out, which was Follow the Leader. Um, I think See You on the Other Side was actually released that same week. So I also got Follow the Leader and got to got See You on the Other Side as well. That was a pretty good timing. But um, from then, I just collected all the Korn albums. Collected every single Korn album. I actually got them here. I collect every Korn album. And um, from then, I just listened to them and fell in love with them. When I really got into Korn, it was none other than my all-time favorite band, which was Slipknot. And the first ever Slipknot album I checked out was none other than Iowa. Amazing album. So I wanted something heavier. I said Korn's... Corn is heavy, but I want something heavier. So I went to Slipknot. And it's the best thing I did because I remember I was on a, I was up north in Queensland on a holiday and I finally got internet. I finally had internet. So I downloaded Iowa. And then I listened to it and I said, wow, this is so different. It's like corn, but it's heavier. And his vocals, oh my god, his vocals are amazing. I didn't know who Corey Taylor was back then, but I absolutely fell in love with this album. Songs like, songs like The Shape, The Heretic Anthem, um, Iowa, Left Behind, amazing, amazing. And I absolutely fell in love with this band Slipknot. From then, after my holiday, I went to buy all the albums up to Volume 3 Subliminal Verses, cause All Hope Is Gone was not out yet, but I bought all the albums and I fell in love with them. I listened to Korn, I listened to Slipknot. I even went back to listen to Elvis and Kiss. Still listen to Elvis, still listen to Kiss, still listen to ACDC, Led Zeppelin. Kind of went off Led Zeppelin and kind of went off Black Sabbath. I was listening to Korn and Slipknot, Kiss and ACDC. Then Slipknot turned me into a disturbed fan. The first album I checked out was none other than was that none other than indestructible. So you could safely say that I was into metal now because we were getting a lot heavier. We were getting a lot heavier. You could definitely say I was into metal. Disturb Indestructible was my first, very first album that I checked out from them and I fell in love with them. And they were indeed my favorite band. They were my favorite band because I thought Disturb were better than Slipknot, I thought Disturb was better than Korn. 
but that comes later on when you check out a new band and they're instantly your favorites. I think we all get that feeling that you check out a new band and they're instantly your favorites. Disturbed were amazing. I checked out Disturbed. My friend gave me a Disturbed album. He said, listen to this, listen to it. Oh, wow. Inside the Fire, The Night. Indestructible, indestructible. The domination that is incorruptible. Absolutely amazing songs on this album. I loved it, I really did. From then, I didn't have much money. I did not have much money. But you know what? I spent all my money on Disturbed. I spent all my money on Disturbed and got the Sickness album, the Believe album, the 10,000 Fists album, the Indestructible album, and also Asylum came out that same month. Uh, <laughs> and Asylum came out, I got Asylum as well. And from then, yep, just listened to the whole fucking thing. Whole fucking thing for fucking months. And I absolutely loved it. So Disturbed came along. I was off Corn, I was off Slipknot. I still listened to Elvis and Kiss and ACDC. Off Led Zeppelin and off Black Sabbath. But what really changed was... I wanted something a little bit heavy. I wanted something slightly heavy and slightly faster. So my mate suggested Slayer. So the first album I checked on Slayer was none other than South of Heaven. I know it's not the best Slayer album for me to check out, but, but it was probably, yeah, it was probably the best Slayer album to check out because from then I checked out before South of Heaven, something I never heard of before. It was so damn heavy, it was so damn gritty. I fucking loved it. I loved the melody of South of Heaven. I loved that amazing guitar riff, especially throughout the introduction. That was amazing. Then I checked out Rain and Blood. And then I checked out Show No Mercy. And then I checked out How Awaits. Amazing, amazing band Slayer. Are. So yeah, that's when I became heavily in the Slayer. Still listening to Sturve, still, and then, and then I went off Slayer a bit and went back to Corn and went back to Slipknot. Listened to a lot of Slipknot back in the days after I, after I discovered Disturbed and Slayer. And then stopped listening to Slipknot, then went back to Elvis, then went back to Kiss, and sort of, sort of went back, sort of was like a revolving cycle. And from then, I put all the bands on the MP3 the device that I had, and from then you could, and from then I ditched, I ditched the CD player, just put them all on shuffle, and it was just an amazing experience. You had Elvis, you had Kiss, you had AC, DC, Led Zeppelin, Back Sabbath, Corn, Slip Not Disturbed, and Slayer. I had all the Slayer albums as well. This was before I think it was about the same time as Well Pain and Blood was released. But yeah, I had all the albums, and from then I was just listening to the music. So yeah, that's basically my gateway to actual metal, to uh, new metal and fresh metal as well. So very interesting. Uh, so yeah, comment below if you want me to create another video of my gateway to heavier metal, like uh, death metal, black metal. Yeah, I'd love to see if you want, you want me to have a part two of this. Uh, keep discussion going in the comment section below. Also, comment below your gateway to metal as well, and what bands got you into into metal. Okay. Drop a like, and I will see you in the next one.